Hello, Days of Our Lives fans. This is for Tuesday, July 23rd. Please like, subscribe, and share. Well, Abby slips back in to get her rosary. Um, her and Stefan, she's moved out of the bedroom and different things. They kind of they kind of make up because she's struggling with Rafe being in a coma. And then, of course, her answer to everything is, let's get jiggy. So that's what they did. They got jiggy. And uh, then they both went off to work or whatever it is they do. Uh, Stephanie runs into Everett in the pub. And he was very cold and dismissive of her. And it really bothered her. Uh, she just didn't understand the way he was being. So uh, Jada wants to know what's the chances Rafe will wake up. And she said, "There, you know, you just have to wait and see. You never know. So she's talking to Rafe, and who's lurking? Oh, Bobby Everett, a.k.a. Psychopath. And he's, like, touching her and stuff. And she's like, you mean you're getting feelings for me like a girlfriend? And he said, oh, no, no, I didn't mean to imply that. Well, later she runs into Stephanie, and she tells Stephanie, uh, Everett told me you all broke up. And she said, yeah. And, she, and uh, Jada was telling her how he just wasn't himself. And they're both coming to the conclusion that Everett never came back and Bobby is screwing them all. So uh, Kayla had lunch with Stephanie and she's a little bit upset with the way Everett treated her. So she's seen him in the hospital and she tried to talk to him and she said, you know, it's, it's probably none of my business, but I was wondering if you could just treat Stephanie with a little bit of respect. And he said, you know what, Kayla, you're right. It is none of your business. He's just a little, well, I can't even say that on here. Okay, so Kristen is telling uh, Ava, you, I need you to go get Gabby. I want Gabby Chic here with Tamara. It's a good business move. Ava doesn't want to do it, but Gabby called and left Kristen a message, so Kristen's making her. Uh, meanwhile, Stefan comes in, and they're talking about some deal or something, and she tells him about what's going on with Gabby and Ava, and he is not happy. He said, are you crazy? They don't need to work together. I slept with Ava. And she's like, well, Gabby doesn't know that. So he is not happy. As you see, Ava um, goes to Gabby, and she said, so it did work to go behind your back. Kristen made you come here. And she made her an offer, got her to sign the contract, and headed back to work. She comes back right when Stefan's talking to Kristen and said, we got a deal. And uh, neither one of them are happy about that, especially Ava. She does not want to work with Gabby. So Crazy Connie keeps talking to Dead Man Lee, and he's asking her, what's going to keep Bobby from throwing you under the bus? You know, after all, after you do all this. And she said, well, I don't know. And he said, you never thought he might be somebody who would turn on you? She said, well, if things go that way, I guess I'll have to take care of him like I did the commish. You know? <laughs> Poor Lee Chin. Uh, anyway, um, okay, yeah, there's Bobby lurking in the hospital room. I must have put that picture in there twice. And um, here she is. She's going in to finish him off. She's got a glove on one hand. You can't see it on that picture. And there, here it is. Here's the glove. She's getting ready to turn his machines off. Man, she, she, she's got some balls, I'll tell you what. They might be in them. Never mind. And uh, Gabby walks in and says, what are you doing here? And this is how it went off today. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching.